said is uh, they didn't want to turn the school over and they thought that we were doing a good job so they could leave a lot of things in place. Okay. And, uh, you know, I, I'm not sure, how, it's still new to me, I'm still not sure how to feel about it, you know, because obviously I want access for, I feel like I'm part of the community and I love it here and I want access for our students in this area and uh, I want to see how that plays out. I feel bad for kids that like live around the area because some of them might not be able to get into the school and then some of them will. And then say they have friends that are getting in and then some that are getting out is gonna make them like sad, I guess. Mm -hmm. And considering now that, it's, that it just happened, kids that are like in eighth grade who plan to go here might not be able to actually get what they want and they might have to end up going to Hubbard or Curie, which are already crowded schools. We feel a loss that we are not going to be able to accommodate our neighborhood kids in the same way that we were before. However, we are still going to be working with kids in Chicago. And all kids in Chicago deserve a really great education. Hopefully this will spur more resources and more energy into all neighborhood schools so that everyone can experience the same success we have. I mean, I think without the school improvement grant, we, we could possibly be in a very different place. But we had really amazing resources, really amazing staff, um, great administration, great students, great parents that I think we're able to bring it together. So hopefully this will be a motivation or hope or we could be an exemplar school for lots of neighborhood schools. I don't.